It's very weird feeling that I'm from Europe and it's the first time I'm visiting Rome. And uh, I want to start this video here from the heart of Rome. I know what it means to travel to Italy. Pasta, panettone, ravioli, biscotti, coffee with pastry, gelato, bread, campari, more pasta, more pastry. I knew what was waiting for me. So, not as before, this time I'm preparing for the trip properly. So this place is completely unplanned and it turned out to be a really, really beautiful discovery. So we had a food dinner. It cannot be more traditional and uh, especially I think the most important part of the dinner was the special pasta, which is called pasta with peppers. We didn't have uh, any reservation done before coming, so we waited a little bit outside. That's all good. Happy, full stomach and we're heading back to our hotel. Let's begin. So, as expected, we are going to have breakfast and one of the bakeries have been recommended. So we are passing all this beautiful path, kind of a secret road. And the secret road leads to the buzzy and full of people city center. It is impossible to skip this piece of art. Looks like we found the hottest spot for tourists. I'm glad we made an effort to come here all this way because it's not on the high street. So just behind me, I see a queue to enter the bakery. So whenever I see the queue, I like it because it means something, right? Crostata, torta, cake, ricotta, cheese, and this show is, is uh, sherry. Oh my gosh, everything is so delicious. This you can, uh, you can buy a uh, slice. Okay. So we went for it and we were not shy with our selection. With hands full of takeaway bags, we turn and there's another counter with pizzas and hot food. Mamma mia! So let's try pizza too. We were lucky enough to find an empty table, so let's have a taste. But unfortunately we're not able to finish this tarta queso is just too much. We, as always, wanted to try everything, but it turned out that our stomach capacity is smaller than we thought. So we continue going and seeing around the places, and then I have a few places marked in Roma. One meter car. I swear, it looks like a Lego car. We're still craving for a good coffee. Luckily, to get that in Rome, it's not a problem. Not like my bag. You're gonna go for Nutella? Yeah, I uh, want this one. So one egg. That's one, one egg. egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, 960, guys. Okay. They have everything here. So many chocolate. Cappuccino? Cappuccino? Yes. yes. Okay. Gran cafe? Gran cafe. This is Gran cafe. Gran cafe. Very small cafe. Sorry, excuse me. Does it have milk? Caldo. What is caldo? Yeah. Milk. La cafe. You want milk? Yeah. You want cafe? Cappuccino. Yeah. Oh. But does it have milk? No, no, milk, no. No, no, tutto cafe. I asked uh, this guy if I can have coffee with milk. Can you pour some milk? Cafe de double. Macchiato. Ah, macchiato, okay. Thank you very much. After a little bit of sugar, we managed to get the coffee as we wanted. So let's have a quick sip before the next stop. So on the way to another place, we're passing a Pantheon. It's for free, so everyone can come and have a look. And it is so, so beautiful and impressive. So we already had a pastry, we already had pizza, we had cafe with chocolate. What else is missing? Of course, ice cream. Sorry. How does it work? Sorry, pay first and come back. Please. I felt like in a beehive. We are trying to find the end of the queue to pay. The demand is so high here. It's like 20, 30 people queuing to pay. 
Fragrance. Yes, to pick the flavor is easier said than done, especially when you see such a variety in front of your eyes. However, once you finally have your gelato in your hand, it is totally worth the wait and hassle. Alejandro is loyal to his chocolate and hazelnut flavors. And me, trying new flavors. Limoncello with yogurt. Yes. So we are on the way to see some historical parts and we arrived here to this Yetza de España and behind me there are Spanish steps. The whole square looks so ancient, I would say with those ventanas. This video is about gastronomic experience, but as much as I want to focus on food, I cannot skip such a glorious architectural creations. So this time it is an inseparable part of the video. It smells so beautifully and uh, looks like uh, it's a romantic couple paradise, this spot. <laughs> looks really good. How about eating this traditional Italian bun with this view? I like the Italians celebrate Easter heart. We just entered a random supermarket and it just looks beautiful. this just before leaving we found this exhibition incredible how happy i feel that we did this uh, tour early in the morning because this is just absolutely insane this is madness i cannot believe the queue now we came here like after seven behind me this is where you enter there and we were like 10 people before us when we came now it's like a day and night so we're going to this place Yes, so we're going to eat pizza for breakfast. Yes, that's right. Hola, mis labes! Horatio. Hola, mis labes! Perian? Yeah, of the parmigiana or doppia panna? Doppia panna without anchovies. Without anchovies. We are going to have pizza takeaway in a different format. And I think it's very interesting that pizza evolves in a way, not in a traditional square or rectangle. So, on the way to have pizza, we will have one pizza to warm up. <laughs> Ooh, still warm? Mm. It's so good. It's mozzarella, but the quality. Mamma mia. So a part of having beautiful walk to reach this place, um, I'm a little bit speechless because this looks so romantic, so full of plants, beautiful uh, doors and things like that. He wants pizza. How about if we do two options? One very thin and one No, no, piccola. Si, 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 piccola. So it's not only pizza, they also have pasta, croquettes, with some buns and some pastries. So what I noticed here in Rome that they pay a lot of attention to the topping, so we tried already a couple of different ones. They have so many different restaurants. For example, yesterday we went uh, to this restaurant and it was absolutely amazing, like the best experience so far from the beginning till the end. So I think it's a mix of everything, but pizza? Of course, you cannot skip pizza here. As soon as we entered here, we instantly felt very chilled vibe and noticed cozy and elegant decor. Staff was very friendly, so I had a great chat with Tiago and he told me a lot of things about this pastry shop. So ladies and gentlemen, the first chocolate colomba in Italy so far, very rich. This place was very different compared to the previous ones because this one is a little bit more elegant and the desserts, they're more into details and I can tell by looking at them that it requires a lot of time to produce them. So everything was really, really superb and uh, so far it was the best coffee in Roma. A huge cup, the biggest flat white I probably had in my life. Moreover, they have multiple awards. So what they also said that they specialize in a coffee, so they're very proud of making good coffees. 
it's even hard to describe in words how amazing this walking tour was here. So I thought it would be a beautiful idea to finish the video with the Coliseum behind my back. So there were many more places to visit, but unfortunately I had limited time here, but I tried to show the best what I could find. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and see you in the next one.